I, yeah, I think of art as, as a huge responsibility, but it's also a huge privilege to be able to uh, make things that potentially inspire others. I guess the reason why I am an artist is I think it's maybe one of the most important things uh, that I can be doing. You know, I've done a lot of other stuff and had some success in different areas, but art has always been uh, the thing that kind of just keeps me, uh, keeps me up at night and gets me up in the morning. So I grew up on Long Island and about a half hour east of the city. My mother was a painter, my grandfather was a sculptor, and my great-grandfather was a sculptor too. So my father was also a, um, he worked for a family business that did, uh, they manufactured freight elevator doors. And so I had kind of like two different sides of the, of the coin where I would go and, you know, mess around in my dad's factory and grab like metal parts and glue them together and make like metal hands and stuff like that. But then I'd also go to my grandfather's and uh, like work with him and sculpting wax and things like that. So I had like a very, very uh, encouraged and kind of healthy artist environment growing up. I'm excited about this show because um, it's just a slightly different audience and I think that it's really exciting to be able to um, share the work with as many different types of people as possible. So in this case I feel like it's going to be a much more like young and excited and kind of like youthful and optimistic crowd which uh, for me is really exciting because the work is you know it's fresh it's new and and, um, and I'm really focusing on like kind of bright beautiful colors. So. Yeah, so I'm excited about the whole show. The idea of a pop-up, I think, is a, a sort of trending, interesting thing for people to, you know, kind of get a sense of some sort of like ephemeral event, um, which I think is cool. Um, I'm definitely uh, optimistic about it. So yeah, so so day to day as an artist, it is. Um, I suppose the the exciting part is not knowing what's exactly in front, but the uh, maybe another piece of it is the excitement of always being, always playing full out. Yeah, so what it's like day to day for an artist is, it's way more exciting um, to be kind of living in, you know, the pipeline of uncertainty, uh, but it's also way more exciting and fulfilling and gratifying be able to um, make things and know that it'll make an impact in someone's life um, at some point. Well, I'd say that the main difference between, let's say, working at a company and then working for yourself as an artist and kind of being, I would say, the lead of a company is, I would say, the same difference between being the entrepreneur versus being an employee. Um, neither one is better than the other, there's just pros and cons to each, <clears throat> and they have trade-offs. So, for instance, you know, when you work for someone, for myself, it was it was really great because I could contribute but also have lots less sort of responsibility and lots less kind of risk involved. Um, but the risk is just, you know, making sure you perform at a certain level for your employer, right? And then coming back to art again was really exciting because the business side was something that I you know, understood maybe more intuitively all of a sudden. And then it was way easier to um, sort of express myself in the artwork and find ways to share that with more people. Because in art, you're not really selling art, you're really just sharing art with people who you know, love the art or they don't love the art. So for me personally, it, it fit every value of mine much stronger. I started, started working on napkins with ink and just making little Rorschachs. Mm -hmm. 
at a certain point I thought, you know, I'm just gonna kind of like throw all my chips in and see what I can do if I go straight into art. Because that was always my, the thing that mattered. Uh, it's pretty much the only thing that really mattered to me actually growing up.